Now I'm having two coffees. This place has one Michelin star. On to the next! This is how it goes here! Thank you! Thank you. <laughs> everyone welcome to this new video in this video i'm gonna eat 24 hours like a local in vietnam i am in da nang city right now and i just walked out of my apartment and always if i drive here i see a place here on the left and it's always so busy it's now around 10 o'clock so i don't know if it's really busy now but it's breakfast time for me let's have a look because i think there are two different ones i think this is the one that's always really busy Hi! <laughs> Let's have a look what they have. There are many options. Hello! Hello. Do you speak English? Yeah. What is the best seller? Like, what do people eat for breakfast? Uh, beef noodle. Which one is that? Um, it's a fort. Bun Bo. What is Bun Bo Thai? What is Bun Bo Gan Nam Cha? What is the difference? Um, it's a different meat. Different yeah. meat. Oh. So, can I have one of that? Okay. That's like a full portion. Is it enough or do I need more for breakfast? Mi Kuang. Mi Wang. Okay, I will try that one as well. I just don't eat pork. Is it with pork? Yeah. Um, I have chicken. Chicken. Uh, and we, which one is this actually? This looks really nice. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh, it's this one. Yeah. Okay, I will just try this because I think it's pretty big already. Yeah. Okay, so one portion. Oh, I love this. If you're sitting in a place in Vietnam, you always have like the chilies, all the sauces and things. A lot of people eat with chopsticks. They can't live without fish sauce. It's like a really big thing here. I am excited to try the beef soup. It looks really, really nice. So um, maybe I can see how she makes it. one minute and it arrives already it's always really really fast and most of the time it comes with a whole basket with fresh basil herbs tauge it's always really nice and fresh i don't like the feeling of eating with wooden cutlery things also with chopsticks and there's also lime here i think i'm gonna take lime okay let's give it a try it looks really rich and i love it that it's a bit orange i think that's really rich with spices Oh my god. Wow. This is so nice. It's really light actually. It looks a bit, a bit heavy. But it's like a really nice light broth. It is oily as you can see. But that's also what's making the flavor I think. The broth is really really nice. Now let's try some beef. Here you can see how nice the beef looks. It looks really cooked perfectly. Also really really good. And the noodles look a little bit more like spaghetti. It's more like the round noodles. I hope you can see it. I'm scared to burn my tongue. <laughs> also really nice. My personal favorite is the other kind of noodles. But all everything together, it's really good. Mm. I'm gonna add up the, something of this now. I never know if I have to break it or what I have to do with it. I think this is called Ban Bo Ban Thai, but I'm not sure if this is the Thai version, which is beef. But I would say this is a really, really good start of the day with beef noodles. I would give this an 8 out of 10. That was actually really nice. It was 25,000. And now it's time to try coffee. This is really next door, vanilla coffee, and it's always super busy. And this is where all the locals are at. So let's have a look what they always have. And it's like a nice place. Normally it's like really busy, but I'm a bit late today because yesterday night I got 100,000 subscribers. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Good. Thank you. What is that thing that people order the most? The best seller? Coffee. Which one? Milk, Milk coffee, coffee, salt coffee, coconut coffee. One, one. So um, one time this one and one coconut, coconut coffee. coffee 
So I ordered two coffees just for the video, you know. And she's now gonna make it. So I ordered a special Vietnamese white coffee for 30,000 and a coconut coffee. I actually tried many coconut coffee already and they are so good. What's your name? What's your name? My name Ai. Ai? Ai. Ai is your name? No, Ai. Ah. Ai. My name is Jenny. Thank you! <laughs> so this is the coconut coffee. It's actually a different coconut coffee than I tried before. Before it was always with the frozen thing on top. Actually, I did do a coffee workshop. I will link the video down here and where I learned how to make Vietnamese coffee. It was really nice to do. Okay, let's give it a try. Wow! Mm. It actually has a little bit of a chocolate flavor. It is really sweet. Okay, this is really interesting. I never had a coffee like this before. And it's also really thick and creamy. Okay, I would give this 7.9 out of 10. Then this one. Okay, I think this is the normal Vietnamese milk coffee. Let's give it a try. Oh. Mm. This one has definitely more coffee flavor. It's also so sweet. It also tastes like chocolate. I think the beans they use is like a bit chocolatey. They're both really, really sweet. I think this might be even my favorite. Let's get 8.5 out of 10. Really nice. Now I'm having two coffees. <laughs> Only in Vietnam. And the way how they make the coffee, it's not with the machine, but it's like the manual brewing process, which is really nice to see. But then you never get like the really thick, creamy layer on top. So most of the time the coffee is really strong then, and then they add a lot of sugar to make it more sweet, of course. And as you can see, this is just the main road. And a lot of people are always just sitting here on these small chairs and just looking at the city life. It's really, really nice, actually. And it's time to pay. I'm gonna bring this home, otherwise it's too much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. So let's walk home. I actually love it. A lot of people really have this in their house. Like they're also living there. They're just eating their lunch or breakfast. And you're like welcome in their house. I love that so much. In Indonesia that also happens a lot. I really, really love that. Let's walk back to the apartment. My apartment is really there next to the flowers. Okay, it is a few days later, life happened, so it's not a 24 hour eating video anymore, but it's gonna be just like I'm trying local food. And I'm actually gonna go now to a local friend because I did a cooking workshop and the girl was so nice and she told me like she wants to go around with me. So we are gonna go to a night market now and try more local food. But I will show you now how the cooking workshop was. It was actually really nice. Hi, my name is Jenny. Hi, my name is Jenny. Jenny and Jenny, but people also call me Jenny. Yeah, Jenny. But we are gonna make pho. Pho, Vietnamese pho. Today I'm gonna learn how it's made so I know it forever. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the Vietnamese pho recipe for you guys. And then the, the next the one is the spring is roll. Ground beef, coriander, basil, noodles, ground up pork, and ground up beef. And with the taro root, you know the taro root? No. We are now cooking the spring rolls. We're frying them and it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. Oh, it looks really nice. Wow, I can't wait to try it. My mom is coming, let's pick up. Okay, thank you. Okay, you. Let's try the passion fruit drink. 
Mmm. Wow. Ooh, it's sour but so nice. Okay, the pho is almost ready. We are now boiling the noodles and then we just have to put it all together. But it's time to try the spring roll already. So this is beef spring roll and we really made it from scratch. Same as this sauce. So let's give it a try. It looks really nice and crunchy. Mmm. Wow. Oh my God, this is so good. Mm -hmm. Wow, I really love the, the outside like this. This is not like a normal spring roll. It's like a special rice paper. 10 out of 10. How long will you do that? Oh, like really quick. Yeah. Rest. Rest. Mm, that's how it's done. Taste of love. <laughs> Guys, if you also want to learn it, make sure to book a class with her. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to my strong chicken, not Jenny. <laughs> Before I'm gonna try the fall, I want to say that I really love to have like the home experience. This is her house and it's not like a set up thing for tourists. Like you really get the real experience and that's really beautiful. So definitely make sure to check it out if you're interested. Let's try. I think it's really hot. Okay, I will be back in one minute. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow, really nice. Mm, it's a bit smoky. The flavor is a bit smoky. Ooh, let's try the meat. Oh my god, guys, I am so excited to try this. Mm. Hmm? The soup is so delicious. <laughs> yeah, I'm confident to say that the soup is really, really good, really tasty, and growing in nature. Mm -hmm. I fully agree. Yeah. Really, really nice. Okay, well, we're gonna enjoy our food. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And look where I am. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. Jenny and Jenny are together. Jenny and Jenny together. Yeah. Are you ready for some food? Yes, I'm ready. I'm very hungry. Nice. Very. She even told me to not eat, eat lunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I didn't eat lunch. So we're gonna eat a lot, so stay tuned. Hi, and this is, what's your name again? My name is Lucy. Lucy. And this is the daughter of Jen. And her English is so good. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. And she's living here actually, right? This is your house, yeah. That's so nice. I'm gonna try a lot of local food with your mom. What's your favorite local food again? Spring rolls. Spring rolls. The one that we made last time? Yes. <laughs> While Jenny is getting ready, I just saw this here. There's like, they are selling veggies and meat. So let's have a look. Oh, they're just chopping the meat here. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's really interesting. And here are all the veggies. There are so many fresh herbs, eggplant, tomato, lime, onion. There's everything here. Wow. Is this a cucumber? What is it? Oh, it looks like a cucumber, like a huge one, <laughs> but it's not. Wow, there are so many fresh things here. I love to see it. And this is the sweet lady who is selling it. And I think this is the partner. And we have arrived at the first stop. And it's a local pancake. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is so random, right? <laughs> so random. Yeah. Uh, let Do me your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I just cannot handle too spicy. And no pork or okay. frog or dog. <laughs> okay, okay. Một bánh xèo tôm nhảy, phần nhà phần nhỏ ba chín ga, một bánh xèo thịt bò. So we have three different pancakes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see until it comes. It's so exciting, and we are sitting here. Uh. It's like a really nice atmosphere with some green plants here. It's actually really, really nice. I love it. And once you arrive, they directly bring the herbs. Is this peanut the sauce? sauce? Yeah, the peanut sauce. Yeah. Peanut sauce and some fresh the veggies. The green mangoes, the green cucumber, then the green the papaya. Papaya. Yeah. And chili. Oh my God. Oh, chilies. I'm scared. <laughs> and it's really, really special for the pan paste. We need the rice paper. We dip in the water. It gets sharp a bit and then we will we close roast. it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We close with the pancakes together. That's so exciting. So you make your own meal, sort of. Yeah. 
Let's wait to do all the rest. How spicy we like with the chilies and then we can cut the chili. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> this is the cutest. Thank you. Wow, so quick, so yeah. quick. Yeah. This is so quick, it's like one minute later and the food arrived already. So this is shrimp? Yeah, that is shrimp pancakes. Shrimp, shrimp pancakes. pancakes and this is beef pancakes. Beef pancakes. It actually looks a little bit like a taco. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. And what she's doing now, you always make your own sauce. For me, no chili. I will not be able to eat it. <laughs> so you do peanut sauce for her, the chili. I love that it comes with a scissor, by the way. So you take the rice paper, you dip the rice paper in the water, and then you will do with the half of. Oh, you put the wrap in the rice paper. Yeah. yeah. And okay. Then you put the herbs. Vegetable, herb, vegetable. Green mango. Green mango. Wow. So you really just add everything by yourself. It's yes. actually so nice. And the cucumber. And the green papaya. Green banana. Banana? Banana. Green this is banana? <gasps> banana. With the outside on it. Wow, so this is banana. And then you roll. You roll like this. Okay. Then you, you dip it. Yeah. Okay, so then I take half yeah. of a pancake. I'll do it with my hands. My hands are better than chopsticks. Yeah. Okay, you put the herbs and the veggies, the green papaya, cucumber, and this is green banana, and it's inside the skin. That's really interesting. And then you roll it like this. Yes. To roll because you enjoy it, and you can take and then you dip it in the sauce. Okay, this is such a mess. <laughs> okay, enjoy. enjoy. There we go. Here we go. Mm. Wow, this peanut sauce is really good. There's even more. This is squid. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if I ever tried this. I'm really excited about it. And the beef we also still have. We ordered a lot as you can see, but it's really, really nice. My favorite is the peanut sauce. And this cute coconut, of course. So how often do you go here? Three times a month. Three times a month. Yeah. It's also a little bit far away from your house, I feel like. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I understand it's really, really good. time for the squid one. You don't see it, but I made it here. I think this is my first time ever eating squid. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> what is this? This one is always inside the squid. You can eat it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we have it without the rice paper. I actually prefer it without the rice paper because I love the crunch of it. It's just so messy, like I'm a big mess. <laughs> you're not, like you're so organized. I feel like I'm a big mess. I'm even gonna put the sauce like this so I don't drop everything <laughs> out of my wrap. The beef one, let's try it. Mm. Oh my god, this is my favorite. Mm. Mm. The beef is a 10 out of 10. Okay, we actually just ate one of each flavor because it was way too much. So we're gonna do the rest for takeaway and then her daughter can eat it later. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, that's actually so nice. If you order this, it comes with the rice paper, peanut sauce, everything is included. That's really nice. But what I wanted to say is this coconut is actually so cute. Like in Indonesia, we have really big green coconuts and this is like a really small one. And I feel like there's no air coming through. So it's kind of vacuumed. I don't know if that makes sense. So it's a bit hard to drink, but it's really nice and sweet. Okay, that was it. This place is called Nam Heen. I highly recommend to go here as well if you want to try some local food. And we paid 167 and we had so much. So I think it's a pretty good price. And 
There we go. On to the next. So the like the next one, we will try some food like that one. Like this. Yeah. Ooh, look, I love it. They're just here on the street eating. And there we go. Yay! By the way, I love to be the passenger princess. I'm just looking around because everything is new for me, of course. And there are like so many nice stores and places to see. I really love it. We arrived now in this place and we had to park and just walk here. This is like an alley, it's really nice and this is like true local. Wow, it's so busy. There are so many people, I love it. I think it's really good and tasty. Oh, and here's the kitchen, let's have a look. Wow. This is so interesting to see, all the herbs, the veggies. Here they are cooking. This place is really busy and you can see that they're making a lot. This is really nice, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go for this one. Oh wow, directly the herbs are coming. Oh, you want to try the pancake? We just had? Yeah. No, it's fine. Then we have the same. So actually, if you order something, they directly always give you the herbs and the sauce. It's really nice and it's so much. Like we just order one small dish and you directly get all of this. I love it. This is a true local experience. so good so the food has arrived again after one minute <laughs> it's always so fast and to be honest i think that there are more than 20 or 30 people working here so it's open for longer than 30 years that's really long okay so we're, we have the rice paper again let's give it a try this is the beef Oh my god, it smells so good. It actually reminds me a little bit of nasi padang in Indonesia, rendang. Oh my god, it's so tender. Mm. Oh, it's almost melting in your mouth. I often to go to here to have the, the real beef with the local leaf. This peanut sauce, oh my god, it's so good. It's even better than the last one and the beef as well. And I just heard that this place has one Michelin star. So it's really, really famous. And I understand why it's so good. That's why there are like 30 people working here or something. <laughs> so, so good. It makes me dance. <laughs> I just heard that this has one Michelin star, that's also why it's so crazy busy. They're working more than 30 people at this place, as you can see. So it's in this small street. The street is also really busy, as you can see, because everyone wants to go there. Okay, so actually we have a problem with the bike. Oh, sorry. The tire is really empty. Like, you don't see it now. But if you're driving, it goes like... And there was a guy before and he told us the tire is empty. So now we are here at a place where he can hopefully yeah. fix it. So he puts it in the water. So now he is checking, I think, if there's a hole in the tire. So we're gonna go walk somewhere there and look for something sweet, a dessert. Okay. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> this is how it goes here. <laughs> so we're now walking on the street. We're looking for something sweet. And I just told her, like, I actually feel so uh, so safe here in Da Nang. Mm. And then you said that it's the safest city of Vietnam, right? Yeah, yeah. Da Nang city is the most of the, the, the city with the stuff in Vietnam. Huh? Yeah, so it's and the safest and the cheapest city in Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the bike is ready. Unfortunately, the sweet dish was not open today. There's like a really old lady, but she's always closed down on Sundays, which is today. So maybe we will try to find it after, but we still have many things to find. 
I hope the audio is good. Oh my god, I'm shouting here. And here's the Dragon Bridge. There will be the fire show later tonight, which we will see as well. So later we're gonna try some food there, but we're now looking for something cold, like sweet potato dessert. Dessert? Yeah, for the dessert one. Nice, so we're now on the way to that. But actually we're also just going around because we're so full. <laughs> And we have arrived at the next spot. Which one is the best? I trust you. You can make a decision. The Mitzvah. Okay. And the name is Chue Shuan Trang? Yes. Um, that, uh, that kind of shop is open over 50 years ago. 50 years? 50 years. Okay. And this is the next thing. It's like green bean, red bean paste, sort of. And powder. So the white is the coconut and the bottom is the bean. Let's give it a try. It's with ice. Oh, so there's also pieces inside. It's chocolate? No. It's the bean. That is the hot thing. Oh, it really tastes like beans. This is so funny because in the Netherlands we used to eat beans as vegetables. And here it's something sweet. You haven't tried this before. First time ever. But I don't know if I'm the biggest fan. <laughs> so this is really a bean that you also eat as a veggie. Okay, so we left the bean spot. It was 15,000 for one portion. But I'm gonna be really honest, it was not my favorite. But now we are at a really nice place where they have like juices and everything. This one, this one is one. Okay, so we just ordered our juices. I have the strawberry one and she has something with artichoke. Cheers! This is so nice and fresh. I'm enjoying this so much. I will rate this one. 8.5 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah, yeah. 10. Wow, 10 out of 10. So it actually comes with this, and this is salt with chili. I really don't like salty drinks, so I'm not gonna add it in my drink, but you did it and you love it, right? Yeah, I love it. So we are now in the area of the Dragon Bridge. Here you can see it. And in like 30 minutes, there will be the fire show. It's really busy, as you can see. I haven't seen it before, so I'm super excited, but we're still too early. And there are like many tourist things, like food stands, um, things to buy. It's really kid-friendly as well. Look, we have arrived now at the famous Dragon Bridge and this is the mouth. So in 10 minutes there will be fire from the mouth and then there will be water as well to stop it again. As you can see it's really crazy crowded. Also on that side like here it's all full with hundreds of people. It's really crazy. But I'm excited to see it. People are even here parking at the side. There are so many people here. Okay, so we're now waiting for the water to come. <laughs> it's a lot of water. I completely forgot to end this video so I'm gonna end it here I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of all my other videos and then I will see you in the next one bye the famous pon me from Netflix Hello. 
smells so good. Mm. Hi. Hello. ASMR. 